Hey guys, my name is Confident. Welcome to the 24 minute lesson except where I will be sharing with you some ideas, some methods, some strategies or concepts that you can incorporate as you prepare for your final exams, be it your studying for your mathematics N1, your N2 or your N3. Now, if these videos are handy and you are benefiting from them, you can actually press the like button or if you've got some ideas, you can leave some comments below. If you also like to be notified of extra videos every time we post them, you can subscribe to our channel and then you'll get some notification every time they are new videos. And also, if you are interested in some of our resources, be it test books and some videos, you can check this at the end of this video. We will send you some information. Now, let's check this concept out. For you to be able to uh, do the part uh, which says substitution into formula, for you to be able to do this particular substitution, you need to know uh, how to perform or to do the subject of formula because it is the foundation of substitution into formula. Let us look at an example given here. It says, um, you are given, in this case, it's PV to the power of N is equal to C. It says calculate the value of N if P is that, V is that, and C is that. Now, it is uh, most of the students at this stage, this is what they usually do. So they are like, okay, I'm given that P is 2000. So they will say 2000 and then V is 0, 0,8 and then they will do that and say i'm in mean, 0 comma 48 and then they will have the n is equal to my c is 18 comma 3. so now they say i must find my n from that there is nothing wrong with doing this it is fine but i prefer first to make n the subject of the formula in this case make n the subject of the formula after making n the subject of the formula then you can do the substitution because it will be much easier because if you start working uh, with numbers like this you might end up making errors forgetting a digit forgetting a comma because you're making now you have already substituted substituted uh, a little bit earlier so now how do i go about that as I said, I start by making my uh, n the subject of the formula. So the question says my p v to the power of n is equal to c. I need to make n the subject of the formula. And for me to make n the subject of the formula, you can see n is an exponent. So now, if n is an exponent, the next thing I must remind myself is for me to make an exponent the subject of the formula, I must introduce logs. That's how you can just simplify uh, the subject of the formula. You just need to introduce logs. So how do I introduce logs? Uh, I just put log on my, so um, on my left hand side, I will say log p v n is equal to log c now you can notice that i didn't put any base and the assumption is that if you don't put any base you are working with base 10 you are working with base 10 so even your calculator assumes whatever you are entering it is in base 10 so i'm not going to be putting any base because um i'm working in base 10 so when i've done that it becomes much easier now for me to get rid of this exponent now first and foremost is to understand that between p v and n in this case there is a multiplication sign there meaning if i can write it like again like that it will be log just to make you understand is log p times v n is equal to log c so you see by multiplying like that i'm trying to show you that the exponent n is only affecting v it is not affecting p 
that is what is most critical there so don't be uh, confused the exponent n does not affect uh, p if it was affecting p they would have actually told you that there is a bracket like that to say that uh, to show that both p and v are affected by that exponent which they did not now when you've done that i can now uh, use my laws of logarithms which say log m times n is equal to log m plus log n you must remember this is a law on the laws of logarithms you can uh, revisit that which means log p plus log v to the power of n is equal to log c you see that um, again let me divide my line like that so now you can see that i've separated that which means log p can now join log c by jumping the equal sign and when it jumps remember it becomes negative so that i will have log v to the power of n is equal to log c minus log p now i have got now my n still as an exponent but the reason why we introduce logs for the exponent is that this particular power it will go down here such that i'm using a law here of exponents such that i will have n log v is equal to log c minus log p did you see how it dropped now when i've done that i can therefore divide by log v and divide by log v on both sides such that i can then have my n is equal to log c minus log p all over log v it is at this stage that i can therefore say my n is equal to log i can go back now and say what is my c they told him they told me my c was 18.3 so i'll have log 18.3 that's where i start to substitute minus log then what is my p it is 2000 all over and then the next part is log v so i've got my log and my v is 0, 0.48 so you see now where i introduce substitution it is at the last stage after i have managed to make um and the subject of the formula and then i can simplify finally by using my calculator as i said already i'm not going to use this log uh because the base is 10 so i'll simply use the log like that so it will be log 18.3 don't forget to close the bracket minus log 2000 again don't forget to close the bracket uh divided by log 0, 0.48 and you close the bracket and the answer is 6.3953 your calculator can round off to you to the nearest three decimal places you say shift mod then you can see this part is number six which says fix so you press six you want you want to fix or to uh, simplify to how many decimal places between zero and nine you have to put your answer into three decimal places so you press three so you can see now it is 6.395 so this then becomes your answer so that's how you can solve for i mean substitute the question was calculate the value of n so this is the value of n but first and foremost you are supposed to make n the subject of the formula i hope this was of benefit to you remember to subscribe to our channel to get more videos or you can like our uh, video if ever it was of benefit to you thank you i hope the video that you just watched was of benefit to you and as i said if you benefited from the video 
you can press the like button or you can leave us a comment below and if you want to be notified of these videos you can always uh, subscribe to our channel now if you want the full curriculum of this mathematics if you're studying for mathematics n1 n2 or n3 and you want the test book as well as the videos we have a full um, curriculum of the mathematics n1 n2 n3 as well as the accompanying videos we also have videos of the previous question papers the latest papers that were written in video form these question papers can assist you as you prepare for your exams we also have pdf version of the previous question papers that were that were written since 2014 until now and if you want them you can check all the information from our website and trust me these will become very handy to you uh, we sell them at a very discounted prices and it is worth the try thank you